Welcome to Diet.com video. I'm Sarah Duso, and today I'm with body transformation expert Stephen Cabral. And today he's going to be showing me a total body exercise. It's going to get your heart rate elevated, and it's going to burn fat, build muscle. Stephen, tell me a little bit more about this. So this really it works every muscle in your body, and the reason it does that is we're going to combine a kettlebell clean. And again, you can use a dumbbell if you're at home, because I know not everyone has access to kettlebells, and that's okay. The the thing is, you always want to create more solutions than excuses when you're trying to get in good shape. So if we create a video with a medicine ball and you don't have one, we'll use a weight. And if we create one with a kettlebell, use a dumbbell. There's always a way to do it. So we're going to show you with the kettlebell and we're going to do a clean. And if you don't know how to do that, we're going to demonstrate that. A box squat and a one arm press. So we're going to get the legs, the core, and the shoulders. So upper and lower body. All right, so first thing we want to do is have Sarah hold on to the kettlebell. She's going to stand in front of a box. Now the box should be slightly below your knee height. Um, if you can't squat that deep, well then you can start out with a little bit higher. That's all right. So what we want to do is we want to sit back and stretch those hamstrings a little bit, pull the weight up to your side, so a little upright row and a uh, clean there. Now sit back with your hips so the knees don't go over the toes, and then press up overhead. Good. So now come back down the same way in reverse. Good. Into the body. Now this part right here is like an upright row, and then you pull in and you let the weight kind of swing right around. You breathe in and then press back up. Good. A little right, bit of make coordination. It on yourself. Exactly. Now back down. So just instead of letting it flip, you can just let it fall around your arm and press. Right there. Exactly. Good. Nice work. So what I want you to do from here is pull right to the side. Good. Now squat all the way back. Breathe out. Press up overhead. Good. Now down and then bring it right down into your body. Okay. Again. Clean. Squat. Press. And as you do your press, I want you to stand up nice and tall. So breathe in, here, sit back with your hips. Good, all the way up. Excellent, let's do one more on that side. So here, clean, squat, press. Excellent, let's switch sides. So everyone's gonna have a dominant side. So what happens is, is you're gonna be able to get 10 reps, maybe really strong with one side, and then not as great with the other side. So I would say always start with the non-dominant side so you know how many reps you can get. We're going for 10 reps per side. Sarah has a 17.6 uh, pound kettlebell here. So it's a good amount of weight. Clean and squat and press. Well, I want you to keep your hand closed the whole time. And now when you do your clean, you're gonna stretch back here, pull, so you're up at the top. Good, now squat and then press. And again, this is Sarah's first time going through it. Your first time going through it, you might not be as advanced as Sarah's. You might not feel like you're getting the movement down. I suggest just keeping you know, your, the practice going, and as you get it, you're gonna feel more confident with the exercise. But keep in mind, this exercise is gonna burn a lot of calories, and not just calories, it's gonna boost your metabolism, it's gonna burn a lot of body fat. Let's do two more reps, just for demonstration. Here, elbows in tight, clean, squat, press, and one more. So breathing in, here, pull, good, squat all the way down, and press. And I would just recommend this, just in the beginning, keeping the hand closed so you feel a little bit more confident. Now, if we're just using a dumbbell here, you can do the same thing here. You're gonna pull right to your side, you're gonna squat down and press right overhead down the same way. So again, it can be done with the dumbbell as well. I like to do 10 in reps on one side, 10 reps on the other, because that's 20 total squats. That's a great amount for the legs. And this isn't a lot of weight for the legs, it kind of works the whole body. I kept wanting to go to the clean and then press it right up. So it's hard at home, I challenge you guys, it's hard to remember to squat in between those two elements. It is. Yeah. Thank you, Stephen, for showing me this Got move. It. And hopefully you guys at home enjoyed this as well. We'll see you next time.